At this point, you've seen most of what action TV shows and movies and video games have to offer. Once you've seen an entire CGI city destroyed, there's not much more that can wow you. Which is why I really appreciate when a property like One Punch Man shows you a consequence of action physics that you may never have considered before. How hard do you have to punch someone to stop the rain? In the manga and more recently the anime, the overpowered hero known as One Punch Man takes on a brutal denizen of the deep known as the Sea King. But with a single punch, Saitama blows a hole clear through the king and also the weather. It's not the first rain-stopping strike, it showed up in movies like Matrix Revolutions, but is this even possible and what kind of strike could do that? To figure out if you could punch precipitation itself, we fist have to establish if this premise holds water. It's implied by the show that after Saitama punches Sea King's abdominals, it creates an explosion that creates an associated blast wave that radiates out in all directions and pushes or disintegrates the raindrops. Now, according to the 1968 paper entitled Aerodynamic Shattering of Liquid Drops, water droplets will disintegrate when they encounter a shock wave or blast wave traveling somewhere between 300 and 900 meters per second, or anywhere from one times to three times the speed of sound. And according to a selection from the 2001 book Fundamentals of Process Safety, blast waves can reach beyond Mach 10, 10 times the speed of sound upon detonation. However, these blast waves decrease very, very quickly, even faster than the inverse square law would suggest, which states that sound waves like these decrease exponentially with distance. So we know that blast waves get fast enough to move and disintegrate rain, but now we have to figure out how big a blast we would need because of how quickly they decay. Okay? One of the best research blast waves are those from trinitrotoluene, and TNT has a known energy equivalent, so let's start there. The simplest situation is a perfectly spherical blast wave emanating out in all directions. Now imagine the Sea King getting his gut busted out the back of him and forming this wave. How far does the wave need to go and stop the rain for? Well, in the anime, it looks like the rain stops for about a city block. So let's say maybe 100 meters or more. According to another paper I downloaded from the military, I'm on a watch list now. Entitled Air Velocity and Blast Waves from TNT Explosions, if you blow up between 20 and 100 tons of trinitrotoluene, it will produce a blast wave that maintains above Mach 1 velocity for the distance that we need. If Saitama punched the Sea King with energy like an 100 ton TNT explosion, then it's plausible he could create a bubble of temporary rain disruption. But what kind of serious punch would do that? 100 tons of TNT contains an enormous amount of energy, 400 billion joules worth. That looks like this, the chemical energy in TNT transforming into heat and sound and the kinetic energy of shrapnel. But explosive energy can transform in other ways too, like when the kinetic energy of a meteor transforms into heat and sound. To cause a rain-stopping blast wave then, Saitama's fist would need to perfectly convert its kinetic energy into the heat and sound energy of an 100 ton boom. Let's do the math. Based on the energy content that we need and how much mass the average person has and how much of that mass is in a person's hand, Saitama's fist would need to travel at 0.005 C half a percent of the speed of light, three million miles per hour, and then transfer perfectly all of the kinetic energy stemming from that velocity into a TNT-like obliteration of Sea King's gut that produces a blast wave that radiates out in all directions above Mach 1 to disintegrate and move rain out of the way for hundreds of meters in all directions. At least, this velocity is canonically possible for the nearly boundless Saitama. So, how does One Punch Man literally punch the rain away? Well, if he could punch the Sea King's gut at 0.5% the speed of light, it would produce an 100 tons of TNT-like blast wave that would go out in all directions and disintegrate the rain for city blocks, producing exactly what we see in the anime. Huh, produce exactly what we see in anime. You don't get to say that too often, because science.
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at SciFile where you can suggest ideas for future episodes like the one that created this episode and on Facebook and Instagram where I'm now posting mini episodes just like I did today. And remember, shoot for the moon because even if you miss, you won't be anywhere near the closest star and you'll slowly freeze die. So try better next time. I see a lot of conflicting information online about this, but can you, can you lose your hair if you work out too much? Like, let's just say that, like, I worked out. Would I, am I more at risk of losing my hair?